Hey, I'm Rob from TC Helicon, and today I'm gonna to be giving you an overview of the sample synthesis features in the Perform VE. The Perform VE is a really unique product because it combines our vocal effects with an innovative sample synth. Nothing else on the market does what this does, especially not this easily and at this price point. The core of the VE sample synth is this sample button right here. Now to record a sample, you just hold the record and speak something into your mic. Let's do that. I'm just gonna say, uh, uh. Now, if we're approaching this like a synthesizer, the sample that we record is like our waveform in an oscillator. So let's just play back the sample that we took. Uh. First off, it automatically maps it to the keyboard pitches. So uh, that's a C and I didn't have to do anything. I just recorded the sample. Uh, 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 so I can play chords just right off the bat and it sounds good and it works, it's in tune. The other thing it does really well is it flattens your pitch and it time stretches your signal. So if I do something like an arpeggio, like uh, 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 you can hear they're all the same pitch. You hear the timbre shift a bit, but it's the same pitch. What's really good about this is if I have something ugly and pitchy, it'll just flatten it. It also makes the notes the same length. Other samplers, if you played a low note, it might sound really long. And if you played a high note, it would be really short because all it's doing to pitch the sample is speed it up or slow it down. This actually stretches the sample so that you can play chords and all the notes are the same length. Let's just get a sample of me saying some words. I'm gonna say sample synthesis. Sample synthesis. Sample synthesis. Sweet. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mess with the mode on the morph button. So when it's green, this is just affecting the release time of our sample. So sample synthesis, sample, 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 sample synthesis, sample synthesis, sample synthesis. This essentially just affects how long the notes ring out after I release them. This is really useful if you wanna have chords that kind of blend together because the VE doesn't have a sustain pedal input like a lot of other keyboards. So this lets you kind of compensate for that. Sample synthesis, sample synthesis, Sample synthesis, sample synthesis. And when you turn it past the green into the red, now the VE is monophonic. Sample, 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 sample. And as you increase this, it increases the glide time between notes. So they kind of slide to each other. Sample, sample, synthesis, sample. This sounds really cool if you have just a static sample like, ha, ha, You can make some cool synth leads that way, which I'll show in a later video. So let's just get that sample synthesis sample back. Sample synthesis. And as you can see, it's really easy to recreate something like that. So if you've got a song you play live a lot where you've got a word you say, you can do that live just by singing into the mic sample synthesis, and you can get your sound back. Our new firmware update gives you the ability to also load samples onto our mobile app so you can store them and recall them live. So now that we got our sample back, the next thing we'll wanna affect is the style, which is the bottom right of the morph button here. By default, it's set to natural. So it just sounds like your voice except pitched across the keyboard like this. Sample synthesis, sample synthesis, sample synthesis. One thing that we've added in version 2.0 is the ability to add variable gender shifting across the keyboard. What this means is you can dial into taste how much you want the gender parameter to track the keyboard. So with nothing, the gender parameter isn't affected. Sample synthesis. But as you turn this up, sample synthesis, sample synthesis. The lower you are on the keyboard, the more male it sounds, and the higher you are, the more female it sounds. So you can hear. Sample synthesis. Sample synthesis. The gender parameter just kind of shifts the formant of your sound. So when you dial past this, you get into vocoder waveforms. Sample synthesis. Sample synthesis. Sample synthesis. So you can get some really lush, warm vocoder sounds, and it's great that you don't need to sing them live. You can use the sample for that. Another thing the morph button can do is set a static shift to the gender. So you can just set the gender up or down and it's not affected by where you are on the keyboard. Sample synthesis, sample synthesis, sample synthesis, sample synthesis. So let's just shift the gender up a little bit. Sample synthesis. So you can hear just using the morph button, we've gone from this sample synthesis, which sounds very dry. It sounds good, but this is what it sounds like now with the morph button. Sample synthesis. And it's way more synthy. And there's a ton you can do with the morph button to kind of tweak the sound to your taste. Next up, we have a bunch of effects that you can add to the sound. After you've kind of got your timbre, you can embellish it with some reverb or delay, or you can cut frequencies away with the filter. Let's just look at the filter quickly. On most synths, the filter is where you do 80% of your sound shaping. The great thing about the human voice is it already sounds pretty good. 
A synth waveform on an analog synth sounds really harsh, so you need a filter, but with the voice, you don't necessarily need it. It's more an extra. So we've built the filter more as a performance tool than as a sound shaping tool. So I'll just show that. This is a low and high pass filter. Sample synthesis. Transducers on our other products are what we call the EQ circuits and little distortion circuits that will add to make your voice sound like it's coming through a radio or through a megaphone. So we have some of those loaded on here and they can sound really cool if you wanna make your synth sound like it's coming through a radio or a megaphone. And they also are interesting little filters. I'm just gonna turn the filter off for now and we'll add some reverb and delay. So the reverb and delay knob has four buttons as well. If you hold down the reverb button, it allows you to increase the amount of reverb. Sample synthesis. Samples, 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 samples. And if you use the style button, it allows you to select the type of reverb. So we've got a few, we've got a plate, a hall reverb, a spring reverb, and a room reverb. I'm just gonna use the plate. Samples, 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 samples. And then delay, you have divisions which are synced to the tap tempo. And then you've also got the delay amount and feedback on one knob. Samples, 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 samples. But as you can see, you have a lot of flexibility. You also get ping pong delay types, which are synced with your top tempo or your MIDI tempo. So it's really useful in live performance. It's just easy, it syncs. If you want to add some more rhythmic effects to your sound, you can use the X effects, which has everything from a stutter, panning, tremolo, a ring mod, several phasers, and even a sidechain compressor that is linked to the kick in the looper. Let's go through a few of those. I'm just gonna get a simpler sample so that I can show you the rhythmic effects better. Ha. Perfect. So the first up is the stutter, which is more of a looping tool, so we won't look at that right now. We've got some tremolo. It's very fast right now. We've got panning, which you won't hear because we're in mono right now. We've got ring mod. We have some flangers. Then there's the sidechain compressor, which is linked to the looper, so we'll show that in the looping video. What's awesome about the VE is that it has a synthesizer in it. It's fully featured, you can do a lot with it, and so there's a lot of different crazy or not so crazy sounds that you can make with this thing. In the next few weeks, we're gonna be diving more into how to make different, unique sounds using the synth engine. But for now, here's one sound that I really like.